Hey there everyone, this is Mystic Fish, and welcome to another playthrough of Factorio. I got interested in doing something a little different this time around, and decided to set myself a challenge of trying to get several achievements together. And those are Lazy Bastards, so limited number of handcrafts allowed in the game. Getting on track like a pro, which means building a locomotive and putting it on rails within 90 minutes. And then there is no spoon. In other words, being able to launch a rocket in less than eight hours. I thought this was an interesting combination and I wanted to do it uh, here on default settings and see if we could get this going. I've used a map seed that is the same seed that Anti-elites used in a world record speed run uh, Factorio on default settings. Now, we're not going to be setting any world records, I don't think, but it does say that this is a fine map for trying to get through the game quickly. We're using default settings, as we said. There's a fair amount of forest around the starting area. Spider is not too close. We have plenty of resources nearby clumped up, including oil and a couple of likely expansions. So let's give this a shot. Okay, first things first, we need to get some coal rocks going here. Coal rocks are the fastest way to get coal and stone, which we're gonna need up at the beginning. We're gonna set ourselves up some Hot keys for some of the things we'll be doing right away. Uh, this is also useful for just tracking how much I have in my inventory without uh, having to open the inventory to look at it. Let's get a couple more, whoops, let's get a couple more coal rocks, collect the stuff out of the spaceship wreckage. Uh, we'll get the last coal rock here and then we'll get going with the initial mining. Okay, so initial handcrafts. We can use three gears. We'll use that for a burner miner and then four stone furnaces. Okay, let's get our first burner miner and our first stone furnaces going here. We'll stick 10 coal in the burner miner, six coal in the stone furnace. Put three in these other two over here. And then we'll build the second burner miner and get that also going on iron. Again, 10 coal here, six coal here. That's about the right ratio, so they run out at the same time. Now let's start going on some hand mining here. So we'll do the copper. At this point, when we're mining by hand, we can mine by hand at about the same speed as the two burner miners put together. So we'll leave them on iron and we'll do the copper here. Now, let's see, we got 10 and we'll stick those 10 that we just got into the two extra stone furnaces that we got. This is the nice thing about having all of those furnaces going is we can use them together. And I put the, let's put the ore in 10 at a shot. This lets us be smelting it while we are mining. So that's a second batch of 10. I wanna shoot for 45 copper here because that'll let us build the initial stuff for our first assembly machine, which that's what we're really shooting for with the Lazy Bastard shot, uh, start. And plus enough copper for bringing power poles back uh, over here to the ore area. Okay, that's the third batch of 10. Uh, so we got 15 more here. And so this is really just about trying to figure out how to get the minimum set of resources we need to get initial power, the automation research, and uh, our initial power poles, and then get started again. That's really what Lazy Bastard is all about. So we're about to finish up here. Two more, one, two. Now yeah, let's go third one. Okay, we'll put those in there, and then let's collect the resources we have so far. Okay, we can queue up the 10 red science we're gonna need for automation. And now we're gonna switch over to iron. So the two burner miners have been working on iron so far, but we need to top them up a little bit before we can leave. So we need 25 extra ore over here is what I'm gonna shoot for here. So. 
Uh, we'll do the same thing, batches of 10. Okay, we're done there. Now we gotta clear out the copper that was in these bottom two so that we can put the iron ore in and get it going. Okay, that was 10, so we got 15 more. So uh, let's do another batch of 10. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Put those in here, and then we'll do the final five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, put that stuff in there. Let's collect resources, and now we can craft power stuff. So we need a water pump, steam engine, lab, power pole, and we're gonna pick up this stone, these stone furnaces because that gives us the stone furnace we need for the boiler. And then we just need to make sure we have enough iron to finish it off. So we'll top this up with coal. So this can be mining while we're off setting up power and doing the initial resource. So, okay. So we've got 34 iron, 17 copper. That should be enough for us to get started. So let's wander on up here to the initial starting water so we can get power going. Uh, I'm gonna build the power over here because I think we can build it this way and not have everything get in the way. Okay, so boiler, uh, steam engine, get the first power pole. We'll continue the power back towards the base. We might as well put that one down. Lab, stick the science in. Stick the coal in the boiler and start the research. Okay, so while that is cooking, we're gonna need wood for power poles. So this looks to be the closest forest. So let's just start chopping in here. I think we can get about 200 wood. That should get us the power poles we need for most of the game. And then we'll get back. So, so the main thing here is you know, trying to set up automation so that while we're off doing something, the machines are doing stuff at the same time, right? This is how we'll get through the game quickly is by trying to make sure useful stuff is happening while we're walking around. So let's see, almost there, about a hundred. So I guess we can kind of turn around a little bit and chop our way back. Uh, just getting through all these trees here, change directions, go back up to the northeast here. Just chopping. Uh, but as you can see, we're a little over halfway through automation, so that's good. And with 200 wood, that should, I think, really cover us for power pools for a good rest of the game. Okay, so five gears, three electronic circuits. That is the sort of intermediates we need for an assembly machine. Uh, I guess we're still waiting on the automation research to finish. So we'll grab these couple of coal rocks over here because that seems like a useful thing to do while we are waiting. Okay, research is done. There's our assembly machine. Now I'm gonna hop into the controls and I'm gonna look for the key bindings for crafting. Here they are. So I'm gonna clear those out and uh, that way we will not accidentally craft something and blow our achievement. Okay, so let's get our assembly machine down. Let's have that make all of the copper wire. Uh, let's see, while we're waiting for that, we'll grab some fish, just in case we need to go fight some biters. Although I'm hoping to not have to do that because as we saw from the map, the initial biters are generally behind a lot of forests but we'll stick fish on the hot bar there. Okay, copper wire's done. Now let's build power poles. So we're just gonna turn everything into power poles and then we'll power pole our way back to the base. Uh, we'll do logistics next. We don't have any science, but we'll do that. Uh, and conveniently, there's a nice clump of coal rocks up here. And it's gonna take us longer to mine these than it will take for the power poles to finish crafting in the assembly machine, but this is like really the fastest way to get coal and stone. If we can get enough of this, 
Uh, it means we can get a jump start on, on like iron, which is really gonna be the, the thing that's in the way of, of getting up to speed quickly. So this means we don't have to spend miners on coal or stone right away. Uh, and that'll, that'll help us go a little faster. All right, I think this will be the last coal rock. Uh, yeah, we've got, okay, pretty, pretty close to 300 coal. Okay, let's grab our assembly machine and let's drag the power back to the starting area. And then we'll get going on standing up all of the burner miners now that uh, we have the ability to craft some more stuff because we are at the 111 allowed crafts. Okay, let's get our assembly machine here and start making stone furnaces. Well, let's see, let's come over here. Let's collect what we've got here for the iron and make sure these guys are going. Uh, we'll do five and three. We need to be careful about our coal until we have coal mining going. Let's get a second batch of stone furnaces. So we, we need to kind of double the stone furnaces because for each we need one furnace for smelting and one to go into the burner miner. Uh, we have enough iron here that we can make uh, gears for some more miners. Let's uh, clear out these trees just to make sure these are out of the way since we're gonna be setting up some stuff over in this direction, I think. Okay, we're looking for 30 gears, so uh, that'll be enough for 10 burner miners. So we'll just stop this once we get to 30. Okay, that's 30. We'll switch over to burner miners get those going and we'll take half the stone furnaces with us. And so we'll lay out the furnaces we're gonna use for iron over here. So I'm gonna shoot for 12 burner furnace pairs. Okay, so let's see, we've got a couple more done. We'll do five and three, five and three. Well, oh, got an extra one in there. Grab some more. We really just wanna get the iron going. Uh, that is what is uh, we're gonna most need for getting uh, the rest of the burner miners set up, right? Because the burner miners pretty much just take stone and iron. Okay, here's uh, some more. Same thing, five and three, five and three, five and three, five and three. Five and, three. and then there should be one more in here. Uh, we'll switch this over to stone furnaces again. Remember, we want to be crafting while we're walking around. We'll get our last iron miner going. Five, one, two, three, okay. Uh, now we need to switch over to copper. So we'll do the same thing. We'll double up on stone furnaces. As we go here, we're eventually gonna turn all of this stone into stone furnaces, I think. So, okay, we need 30 more gears here. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? I guess we can one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, make sure everybody continues mining while we're over here. Uh, all right, gears are still gearing. Um, we'll stop it at 30 again. 7, 28, 29, 30. Okay, back to burner miners. Okay, so I think we want to shoot for... 12 on iron, 12 on coal, and six on copper. Okay, so we get these. Here's where we're gonna do the copper. We'll get these guys started. Five and three, five and three. Okay, so we only need a little copper because we'll eventually turn that into more assembly machines, um, but we will need coal. Like we're starting to run out of our initial coal rock coal, so we better get going on the coal over here. So we'll do the usual feed the burner miners into themselves here. We'll put coal in to get them started. Let's walk by here. Let's see, yeah, got a little copper already. Collect the iron out of here. And then let's come back. Okay, we got all the burner miners here. Let's go back to furnaces while we put the other four back on coal. All right, let's come back over here. Okay, we're gonna add four more back over here. One, two, three, four. 
Initial coal in there. Let's collect whatever coal we got from the first four. And then more iron. Collect the iron. Okay, now we just need burner miners. So just gears, we need eight more. Four more on copper, four more on coal. Whoop, these, these guys are running out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm trying to keep those roughly in ratio. Okay, we want 24 for the eight miners, right? Three gears per miner. All right, 24, and the rest are going to be miners. Okay, what else can we do that's useful? I guess we can come down here, collect coal, and make sure we got coal everything. All right, so let's collect some of the coal. Let's get a little more in here. Five and three, five and three. Collect the copper we have. All right, let's see if we're done here. Almost. All right, we'll just wait for these other two. Okay, eight. That's all of those we need. We'll start on the copper wire because we can, at this point, we're going to want to make more assembly machines to start building things in parallel. But I wanted to get the first production up. All right, here's the last four coal miners. So kick that, kickstart them, collect the coal that we got over here. We should be able to get the last coal miner, or, or sorry, copper miners going. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Collect the copper. Uh, let's come back over here. Copper wires. We got plenty. Okay, so let's switch this over to gears. Now, I want to make two more assembly machines, so that's five gears each. So we need ten here. Okay, that's ten. We need assembly machines. Oh, no, wait, I'm gonna need the electronic circuits first. Okay, so we need three each, so I need six. Three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we can make two assembly machines. One, two. Okay, great. All right, uh, we're cooking with gas. Okay, we're gonna switch this to pipes. We need to go back and expand our power, I think. Uh, all right, this will make gears. And let's just finish turning our stone into furnaces. All right. Uh, oh, we're out of uh, coal up there. So uh, let's just grab all the coal first. I think this is a good start with the coal over here and work our way back. Try to be efficient about how we're running around. Three, four, five, one, two, three. Collect the copper. All right, same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Collect the iron. Okay. Back up here. Let's see. Let's just keep making furnaces in this one. Uh, keep going on gears. Uh, okay, pipes are done. All right. Now well, let's get going on boilers. Two. Let's see. Uh, we need furnaces for. Bo oh wait. Uh, okay, stop. Uh, I only wanted to make five, but we got two extra. Okay, Let's see if that, uh, all right, uh, steam engines, we need five. So I want to get six total going for, oh uh, yeah, we're short because we made too many boilers. Okay, I need some more pipes, just a few. It's five pipes per steam engine. So there we go. There's the last one, five. Okay, so let's see, what are we going to do over here? Let's get more copper wire. Uh, all right, that's the last set of stone into stone furnaces. Okay, uh, now I want to go expand power. And so I want to get at least 300 coal. Okay, good, we have at least 300 coal. So we're going to leave this stuff mining while we run back up to the power. But we want the assembly machines to be something useful. I guess gears, uh, we definitely need power poles. Uh, keep going on gears, keep going on copper wire. Okay, that should keep those busy making useful stuff while we run up here to power. Okay, I want to get six total boilers and steam engines going here. All right, let's get one, two, three, four, five. That's whoop, one more five. That's six. Okay, we'll get the steam engines. Uh, come on, here we go. Uh, now 
let's lay out how we're gonna want this to work. Okay, so we'll do this alternating deal here. And we're gonna need 10 of these pairs. So that's two, three, whoop, this rock's on the way. Get this out of the way. Okay, we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's gonna be our first power plant. And let's get the power poles in. And then just fill these with coal. So that's the nice thing about doing it this way is our boilers will act as a buffer, right? We can hold a bunch of coal in there. Uh, we wouldn't be able to hold as much coal up there if we did two steam engines per boiler. So we're kind of using the boilers as big chests. All right, what do we got over here? Okay. Let's, whoa, things are out of coal. Let's go refill stuff. Grab some coal over here. Let's get the copper going again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have enough coal that we can get these going for longer. Okay, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Collect the iron. Okay. Now, let's see. We've got power poles. Let's get going with electronic circuits. Okay. More circuits over here, too. Uh, all right. Get these going circuits. All right. Now that we have power, uh, we want to start working our way towards more assembly machines, I think. Actually, okay, there we go. That'll let us make a bunch of assembly machines here. All right, uh, again, because we can't handcraft anymore, assembly machines are gonna be the thing that's most in the way. All right, so now we're up to eight. Okay, so this is good. Let's get power for these. Okay, and let's get, let's see, more gears. We just need lots of gears. Okay, we got four things making gears. Um, let's see, we will, what do we wanna do? All right, we need more copper wire, so we'll get Three things going on the copper wire. Okay. Uh, more copper wire here. And more circuits. Okay, that's all crafting. Everything is busy. Uh, but let's see, we're gonna need some inserters. Because we wanna get our initial science going. Uh, so that's enough inserters. Um, let's see. We will, let's lay out what this is gonna look like. Okay, so uh, we'll leave spaces because we're gonna end up doing red and green science up here for the getting on track like a pro. So we kind of have to do it by hand at first, but we're gonna need another lab. So we'll make the belts for it. Oh, we're shortening circuits. Okay, there we go. There's our second lab, good. All right, more copper wire. Okay, let's see if we can get this going. These will make gears. These will make red science. And we can plunk our labs down. Offset a little bit so we can feed them from both assembling machines for red science and green science. Right, the ghosts are gonna be where the green science go. Get power, power. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, we got hundred in each of the gears and then we'll put 50 in 50 copper oh let's get some boxes that'll help us sort stuff out okay uh, all right put boxes on four power poles on five okay so we'll put those in there we'll take the f no I'll just take 100 and then I can put half in there and there. Okay, good. 
All right, so that should make us 100 red science total. Okay, so boxes, those are good. All right, back to circuits. Uh, we want to get going on electric mining, I think. So let's come back to the burn. Yeah, copper just ran out of coal. So let's go ahead and get our coal going. Let's get one, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, three, four, five, six. Okay the copper all right let's just keep filling this stuff up with the coal uh, we've got coal to burn so let's go ahead and just make sure this is still going we want as much as possible we want the mining to just keep going while we're off doing other stuff okay collect the iron all right let's see definitely want more gears okay gears in there um, more okay let's see Let's get miners. Um, let's see if we can get a stack of 10 miners. We'll see if we get enough here. Um, but uh, we're gonna need more stone furnaces. So let's get, uh, okay. We're, we're gonna just start making some stone furnaces over here. So we got an extra assembly machine and you'll make furnaces and we'll just mine directly into that guy. Okay, so that'll make stone furnaces for us. Um, that should supply all of our stone furnace needs. Uh, okay, let's change this to belts. I'm gonna get our first smelting array going with some electric miners. Okay, so these need belts. Uh, let's get two of those going. Um, all right, we will collect more iron. Are we on coal here? Six, okay, I can top you up a little bit. We have the coal to spend. So I'll just keep you going. Okay, and let's see. All right, um, we got the copper wire. So let's switch this back to circuits. And okay, collect the gears. All right, um, more power poles. Always need power poles. Okay, let's get more copper wire. We got lots of copper in our inventory, so we should just turn it into copper wire. Okay, that's good. Collect our. All right, we got eight miners. Okay, that'll be enough to get started with iron. Um, Got a couple more going there. All right, uh, we need to work our way towards green science. So let's get the electronics for right now. How are we over here? Yeah, we still got plenty of ingredients for the science, so that's okay. All right, this seems like a good point to end our first episode. We've got the initial red science automation up and running. We've got burner miners going on production. We are just under half an hour into the game which it seems hard to believe it take us half an hour to get just to this point with just basic automation going. But that's kind of the nature of the Lazy Bastard achievement. And you can really see how much handcrafting is uh, a big advantage uh, because you can handcraft in general stuff while you're doing other things. But, but if you can't handcraft, you got to have assembly machines or everything. So the start is just way slower with Lazy Bastard, which is why I think this is kind of going to be challenging with trying to get some of these timed achievements, like getting on track like a pro or there is no spoon. It's going to be hard to do that with Lazy Bastard, but I think we're going to do it. I think we're off to a good start. We'll see how things go. So as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Until then, bye.